you know, all of us wrestle with a terrible fear of failure. And that fear of failure constantly impedes our creativity. Now, what is it we're afraid of when we're afraid of failing? It's not necessarily um, material suffering because very many of us are above material suffering. If we're living in the West nowadays, we have safety nets, we have uh, systems that will save us from the worst kinds of material deprivation. What we don't have is anything to save us from humiliation. That's the thing we're all really terrified about, being humiliated. Um, and that's what we need to find a, a way to deal with. Now, there's one engine of modern society that humiliates people more than any other. And that engine is the media. The thing that we call the media, if you pick up any newspaper, if you read any blog, most of what's on there is stories of failure. And don't we love them? The CEO who did one misstep and now he's out. Uh, you know, the celebrity who snorted something and now they're out. Um, the person who slept with the wrong person and now they're finished. In other words, they're constant fears of failure. And the way these stories are told is terrifying. There is no mercy in those stories. And that's what keeps us running. It keeps us running, but it also keeps us stifled and not necessarily creative. Let's take a different perspective on our lives. And this is where art can be terribly helpful. Because if you look at most works of art, most narrative works of art, they are essentially stories of failure. The art form that we know as tragedy is essentially telling us again and again the stories of people who have failed, who've messed up their lives. But we don't laugh. We don't giggle. We don't think, oh, loser. We think, oh, dear. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's terrible. That's so complex. I can see how one misstep led to another, which led to a hasty decision, which led to a panic, which led to a failure. It no longer seems quite so simple. We bring sympathy. Think of some of the great works of tragic art uh, in the Western tradition. Imagine handing those to the sun. Uh, for a headline. Imagine asking the Sun newspaper, Britain's most virulent, violent tabloid, to turn the stories of failure that we find in tragedy and ask, uh, the, ask a newspaper to turn that into a, um, a, a response to, um, to, 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 to failure. Think of Othello. Think of giving the Sun the plot line of Othello and asking them to turn that into a headline. I imagine they might come up with something like, lovesick immigrant kills senator's daughter. Really. <laughs> Violet. Or imagine giving them Madame Bovary. Shopaholic adulteress swallows arsenic after credit fraud. Um, or imagine giving them something like Sophocles' Oedipus the King. I'm proud of this one. Sex with mum was blinding. Um, uh, in other words, there's no sympathy there. It's just a brutal headline. Brutal headline. And that's what keeps us so terrified. Um, that our lives will be assessed from this violently cruel point of view. Um, well, I think we need to relax. I think we need to have within ourselves a story of how we might fail and that failure be a noble failure. The great thing about Japanese aesthetics is they know all about noble failure. Most great works of Japanese art are recounting stories of people who have lost but are not losers. Right? We need to find ways of accommodating failure into the narrative of our lives so that when we do fail, we do not feel or have to accuse ourselves always of being losers. One of the great enemies of creativity at a corporate and a personal level is the fear of failure. And no creativity, as Nietzsche told us, no creativity can occur without an accommodation with failure. If you are not prepared to fail, whether that's as a client, uh, as an agency, as an individual, if you're not prepared to fail, you cannot succeed. And the demand that we constantly produce success is the most inhibiting and most failure-inducing uh, prejudice of our times. We need to get over it. I want to end here. I want to encourage you to go out there, make mistakes, and make sure that the creativity that you are using is geared towards the most important things so that capitalism and art can finally be united and that the best possible medium for the communication of ideas, which is advertising in the contemporary world, is geared towards reminding us and exciting our, our appetite for the things that are most important to a successful and a good life. Thank you very much. <laughs>